Hello, welcome back to IT Landy Nugget Courses. Uh, this time we were uh, we finished last session on uh, uh, creating the SSH key. So a quick recap: task number four, creating SSH key. We said like open uh, the WSL command, and then after you open the WSL command, we make a directory. We generate the RSA key through this command. You can specify the user and the target and making sure it's getting stored under the SSH you know, uh, directory. This is really crucial because you can do the same thing from the portal as well, by the way, without even RDPing, yeah? But we're supposed to RDP, we open the port, and then uh, we created the passphrase or, you know, the SSH key, which we can uh, utilize to access the VMs, okay? Next, what we will be doing is exercise five creating a build agent VM. In this section, you will create a, a Linux VM to act as your build agent, you know, for deployment. If you ask what is build agent, it's an agent to deploy. Uh, you will install Docker to this VM. Once it's set up, you will use the VM during the lab to develop and deploy. Yeah. You can set up your local machine with Docker. However, the setup varies or different version of windows for this lab the build agent approach simply allow you to uh, predict uh, uh, the setup yeah so before i move on to this the same principle apply if you would like to do for example i don't know how, how good you are with devops but like gitlab jenkins uh, other like devops as you devops basically you can have your own vm you can install the agent exactly like these approach or this approach or these set, uh, steps and then you just like link it and consume it for your team yes this is as you this is we are doing this one because we are doing this lab together yeah but what i mean is if you want to do something like if you work for a team and your team require like a dedicated uh, agent then this is this is a step or these are the steps which you can utilize to do the same thing okay Okay, from the portal again, go to the resources, type uh, create resources, type Ubuntu, search through the MacSpace, select LTS 16 or the new one 20, you know, whatever, yeah. Select Ubuntu and then click create, specify similar, username, disk, authentication type, here we go. Leave it as SSH key public key, not username and password, okay? And then under SSH public key from your local machine, copy the public key we created earlier, yes? In the previous step. Step number four, yeah? Go there. If you are not familiar, this is the time where you need to get familiar with uh, Linux, yeah? CD, and you can use the directory, yeah? Type the following command, add the prompt to display a public key that you generated, basically. Cut directory which is dot ssh slash the name of my public key yeah simple as that yeah you cut it which means yeah you search for it open it and then that will display the key something like that yeah your public key copy the entire command I assume you know how to copy the entire command. Yeah. Paste the value in the text box. And uh, you know, this is not like right click and copy and paste. It's a Linux. Yeah. So you should know how to uh, copy and paste either uh, using uh, the I or nano or, you know, the cat which we mentioned earlier. Okay. Copy the entire. Uh, key make sure no spaces and then choose the same subscription you are using for your all your work loses resource group and click OK what I'm referring to here is basically the steps for the VM self here this is displaying the key copying the key pasting it and then finishing the setup now we have a VM like this public key as i said earlier do not use a password yeah you need a key select the subscription you are working on 
the resource group which we created earlier, the location get populated if not populated. You select it, and here we go. Click next, and then that should be it around the creation. I mean, assuming you similar to the previous screen, you know, make sure you select something uh, the blade right to you. We went for that one, the standard, and we created the VM. Now we have VM which will be hosting my agents. It's an Ubuntu VM. And we have a VM, which is basically uh, the Windows one, yeah? Something like that, yeah? You can see the VM. Next, this is the crucial part, which I would like you to pay attention. I'm just going to connect, yeah? And link my VM or build agent in this section you will validate that you connect to the new build agent VM. Okay? From Azure portal, navigate to the resource group which you created first time, yeah? And navigate to the VM which has a public IP address. Okay? From your local machine, open the command line, make sure you are in the user directory. Again, similar to the previous one. Navigate to the directory. CD, connect to the new VM we created by running the following command, SSH-I, your nickname or whatever name you gave it, and the username and agent, okay? Something like that, basically, yeah? You replace the bracket values with the following, yeah? Private key name, use the private key name, like whatever we called it earlier, yeah? We called it, it's not directory, dot SSH, slash, you know, fab mythical, we created above. The building username, use the username of your VM, in this scenario, whatever we called it, you know, admin, and then the IP address of the public IP address, yeah? So, SSH, hyphen I, directory, then, the username at public IP address, which is the VM, yeah? Uh, click enter, assuming uh, your NSG is not blocking anything. You can connect, if yes, then you can need to open the port on the NSG, yeah? 22, to connect to the VM, yeah? When asked confirm, click yes, add the value, and then when you ask for passphrase for the private key, which you created earlier, just add the value as well, and then you connect to the VM. Okay. Now, this is really crucial. If you have issues connecting, you may have pasted the wrong, you know, or incorrect, uh, let's call it secret. That's so I recommend to make sure like there's no spaces when you copy and paste. This is really crucial, yeah? Otherwise, you have to recreate the VM. I mean, it's not totally correct, but you can always go and recreate the, the, you don't need to recreate the entire VM. You can recreate the SSH key yeah? from the portal to reset it. Now, uh, assuming we manage to connect as per the screenshot, what we will be doing next. Next, we will complete the build agent, but we will continue this on the next session. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.